Hey guys, Justin from Reaction Brewing here. Uh, we're back. We're going to do another little taster video. Try to get a couple of these knocked out. Um, so this is our Detective Berry Mango. It's a little cop, strawberry head. Um, so what this is, is uh, our wee beer, same as the BBC uh, Blood Orange Beast. Um, we got mango and strawberry put in it. It's pretty good beer. Uh, turned out pretty well. Um, it was slightly named after Sam's Uncle Bob, who lives up north on Lake Charlevoix in Michigan. So I'll read you what it says on the can. Detective Mango is a legend all over Michigan, cruising on the pontoon to the Thursday night dinner crew. He's feared far and wide. Light-bodied, but at 6.3%, it packs a surprising punch. Keep your eye out for this fruity fala, brewed with real Michi or with Michigan grains and fermented with real strawberries and mango. Keep refrigerated. Important because it's got unfermented fruit in it. Can will blow up. You might get to see that. Um, 21 IBU, 6.3%. It was canned July 9th, uh, right before we went up north. So that's what Michigan people say when they go on vacation, basically, is they go up north. to where we take the boat. That's where all the good lakes are. So anyway, we'll see if this explodes. It did not. I had a couple that did. There's actually beer inside this one. I had a couple that weren't. Long story. So, little head, not much left. Um, still fully carbonated. Ah, very clear for a wheat beer. Um, soapy bubbles. Still got a lot of strawberry to it. A um, little bit of mango, mostly strawberry in the. Uh, in the nose. So uh, that's pretty much that's what you get. Get a little bit of, uh, I ferment these with uh, Kolsch, Kolsch yeast. You do get a little, I don't want to describe it as banana because that's not it, but let's just call it banana for now. So let's give her a try. Oh yeah, it's still there. This is what we drank on the boat with uh, Smash That. These were saved mostly more for the dock than the uh, water, but we did we did do a, a beer or two on the water. Um, it's got a big hit of strawberry. It's very crisp, very dry finishing. Um, I believe this, and it's been a long time, so I can't tell you for a fact, uh, the dog is going to town on a squeaky toy. I can't tell you for a fact what I, what I finished that, but I leave, believe it was a uh, 1.01. Oh, so not super dry, but it does finish off dry. Uh, it makes you want to take another drink. The, the flavor combo with the yeast, the uh, mango and the strawberry is freaking delicious. It tastes like a goddamn smoothie like a beer smoothie. Um, still has a good backbone to it uh, from the wheat beer. Uh, my wheat beers are pretty pretty heavily heavy on the white wheat, so they have a pretty good backbone to them, pretty good uh, malt, nice mouth feel. Um, it's, it's a good beer. It's not my favorite. I think I'd rather, uh, I think I'd rather hit up the Blood Orange or the BBC. But uh, it's not, I wouldn't, I wouldn't turn it away, that's for sure. Uh, I'd order it at a bar, I'd order it at a brewery. Um, tell my buddies about it, I probably wouldn't say it's, it's, the, it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. It's not a $14 or four pack beer, but it's pretty good. Um, they're all gone. I blew through them like freaking like that. I had probably, uh, we took 70 beers up for a week trip something like that, 60 beers up for a week trip, and they were gone by like day four or five. Um, between people drinking them and me drinking them, they went fast. So they're both good beers. Um, but I think I do prefer the Blood Orange or the BBC uh, over this. But it's a toss up. Really can't say good or bad about, or bad about any of them. Um, it's a solid recipe. Uh, I have to break out the phone. I got it. 
I believe I got this one. Um, I hate to play on my phone while I'm doing the video, but I believe I did get this one off of um, home uh, homebrew network, but I do not remember to be honest with you. Um, or I guess the I guess I would call it the start of this one. So blah 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 blah. Definitely Thunderware, my homebrew network came up with this. Maybe, yeah. Yep, he came up with this recipe. The five gallon recipe is on my YouTube video for this beer. Um, Thunderworm came up with it. Uh, I changed it up a little bit here and there, just a hot profile on it. Um, but other than that, I, I stick to the, uh, the grain and uh, the hot doses for the most part. Um, on this one, it was straight, straight to the recipe. Um, other than I think I switched out Magnum for, for Fuggle or something like that for the boiling hop. So, anyway, enough rambling by me. It's a good beer. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, hope to see you guys back for the next one. We'll see you then.